Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna talk about Atlas Development Group 65 Creedmoor Brass. So these guys were awesome enough to send me out 100 pieces to test out, and I've actually shot and reloaded them about five times at this point. So I've got an idea of how high quality they are. So one thing I did is I took them and I measured them. That's an easy way to tell how high quality brass is, um, depending on what the weights vary by. Now, I compared it to Hornady match ammunition. Um, I just took some once-fired brass there, and I measured them out, and then I measured the same amount of Atlas Development Group brass. I think the sample size was around 20. And uh, so I measured them, and then I did a standard deviation on the weight. So that gives you an idea of how much variance there is between each piece. And on average, the Hornady had 1.4 grains standard deviation between each piece of brass, which itself doesn't sound too bad. And indeed, compared to some other brands of other cartridges I've done, um, it's really not too bad. Now, the Atlas Development Group um, is high quality brass. Now, when I weighed and sorted that, it came out to be 0.48 standard deviation, 0.48 of a grain between each piece. So significantly less than half of what the Hornady came out with, which is very surprising. It's really awesome. So I actually got an email from Atlas Development Group and uh, I kind of want to just share kind of what this email says, tell you guys a little bit more about the company, some things you may not know. So ADG was founded in 2015 by a group of industry professionals. Um, they wanted to make some really awesome high quality uh, brass. As their manufacturing leg came online, Cartridge Brass was their first product manufacturing. Overseeing this business unit is Greg Dennison. Um, if you don't know Greg, you probably know some of his caliber, calibers he was instrumental in developing while at Remington. This guy helped invent the 260 Remington, the Remington Ultra Mag, and Short Action Ultra Mag families, 7mm STW, 17 Fireball, and 6.8 SPC, to name a few. While the quality of our brass is comparable to the best in the industry, which indeed it is, looking at uh, some things that I did to compare it to other brands, it's really awesome. Um, they use state-of-the-art equipment and lean manufacturing techniques, 100% uh, U.S. source materials to deliver a quality product at an exceptional value. And that is one thing that's true about this Atlas Development Group brass, is that it's a great value. Now, Lapua makes some very nice brass, but it's very expensive. And one of the reasons that it's expensive is because it's made overseas and they have to pay to ship it here, get it here, pay taxes on it to import it, and do all that stuff. This stuff is homegrown in America and it's much less expensive to buy it on stateside. So that's one of the reasons that this may not be as expensive as Lapua, but it does not mean that it is cheaper than Lapua. It just means that it's a better value. So when many other manufacturers uh, actually make their brass, is they punch the flash hole through the brass, it leaves little burrs. Basically they're pushing a pin through the brass and then the brass on the other side kind of pops out to let that pin through and it leaves jagged edges in there. Now there's a tool that you could remove these burrs, this is one of them, and it's basically a little drill bit cut to a specific size so that it goes into the flash hole from the mouth side of the case and then it comes through. Now. When I got the Atlas Development Group brass, one thing you can do is, something that gives you an idea of how high quality brass is, is how jagged those uh, flash holes are. Um, lower cost brass, usually, they don't care about deburring those flash holes and it's going to show and you're gonna have to cut out a bunch of brass because it can lead to slightly less consistent ignition. Whether you buy into that or not is besides the point. What I'm about to tell you is Atlas Development Group has extremely smooth, flat flash holes on the inside of the cases. Now, I've seen them talk about this and they don't actually deburr them from the factory. They just use really high quality control to ensure that the, blur that the burrs are never there. So, excellent, excellent stuff. That saves me a step of trying to deburr all the flash holes super consistently. It's just coming right out of the bag. The flash holes do not need to be deburred and that's really high quality, it's saving me time, that's worth extra money right there. Um, so these guys do lots of really precise quality control when they go through this, um, it's really awesome. Um, our lock control process constantly samples each product manufacturing step to ensure quality and traceability of the cases to a specific day, time, and operator along with corresponding dimensional data. During production, over 30 dimensional measurements are taken and logged for all of our products. So that's pretty impressive. So if you've got a bad batch, if you've got a bad batch of brass, they can actually trace it back to exactly when and where it happened, and then they're going to figure out why it happened. 
Regarding longevity, we have done extensive testing during the development of our product line, including a reload test. Um, many factors involved here, such as low pressure, chamber condition, and resizing methods. We follow an industry standard reload test of 10 cycles. The cases cannot show any signs of damage or loosening of the primer pocket. We have received feedback from our customers reporting getting even more than that. One reason for this is that our brass is exceptionally good case head hardness. Our manufacturing process allows for the double striking of the case head during the heading process. Metallurgically speaking, the extra cold working of the brass reduces the grain structure of the material more than traditional manufacturing techniques. So what they're saying here is that when they create the primer pocket and punch through the flash hole and they form the head of the case, um, as you shoot and reload brass, the more the brass gets worked, um, it actually starts hardening the brass. So they're using this to their advantage on the head of the case here. That way when they're manufacturing it, they, uh, they take that into account and as they mold it more than one time, it hardens the brass. Now the big downfall with 6.5 Creedmoor is the primer pockets will stretch out and it ruins your brass. That's why, that's the leading cause of short case life with 6.5 Creedmoor. The, case, the primer pockets just loosen up on you and you're no longer able to load primers into them. So one of the reasons I waited so long to get a review out to you guys is I wanted to shoot and reload these a few times to see if that statement actually held, holds true. And I've reloaded them about five times with stout charges of a high velocity 6.5 Creedmoor using the heavy bullets. And I can go ahead and say that these things still feel just as good as the day that I got them. Uh, the primer pocket is uh, super uniform and it feels awesome every time I seat a primer down in there. Um, the sides of it are super smooth. It gives you really consistent seating and it's really awesome. They initially sold their production capacity to a few OEMs, but then decided to kind of branch out on their own and create their own products. Um, so some of their other products include the Remington Ultramag lineup. 300 rum, 338 rum, 338 edge, 375 rum. Um, besides the Remington Ultramags, they also offer 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, large and small rifle primer pockets, 260 Remington, 308 Winchester, 300 Win Mag, 338 Lapua Mag. They have 7mm rum and both 7mm SOM and 300 SOM in development, and they plan to release them later in 2018. So these guys have got a lot of good stuff coming. At the time of I'm me, at the time of me making this video, that's the current lineup. But if you're watching this in the future, maybe those cartridges are already out by now. So hopefully they are. Um, these guys make really awesome, high quality stuff. It's all American made. The team over there has over 200 years combined experience, and these guys are all part of the firearms industry. Like I mentioned, one of the guys uh, helped develop so many of those awesome cartridges that are wildly popular right now. Like the 260 Remington, that's been around for a while. It's a staple, it's an awesome cartridge. All the Remington Ultra Mags, that's a really cool list of cartridges. These are not Wildcats, these are mainstream cartridges. So it's really awesome to see somebody uh, on their team with such widely known cartridges. Check out Atlas Development Group. Um, the way I heard of them was their 300 Win Mag Brass. Long Range Shooters of Utah put a post up on Instagram and they were talking about how he kept having case head separation failures for his brass and it was really frustrating him. Somebody turned him on to Atlas Development Group. He got a box that showed up on his doorstep and he told everybody about it. So big shout out to Long Range Shooters of Utah. Thanks to those guys, I know about Atlas Development Group now and uh, it's really awesome high quality stuff and I really can't wait to try out some other cartridges that they offer in the future, um, including like the small rifle primer pockets, 6.5 Creedmoor, things along that line. So thanks everybody for watching. Please check the description for links to Atlas Development Group. Uh, you'll also find a link to my Instagram. Follow me there before YouTube kicks me off. All sorts of fun stuff like that. So appreciate your guys' time. We will talk to you later. Now I apologize because I really wish there was a way to convey the feeling of priming brass through video, but unfortunately you just have to take my word for it. So. Let's drop a little primer in my priming arm. I prime on the press because I haven't bought a hand priming tool. And perfect. Uh, nice snug feel, but not too much pressure. It didn't catch anywhere and it's not a loose primer in there. So exactly what you want out of a primer pocket. Felt good, nice and snug. Let's try another one because I've got 25 that I'm gonna be doing right now. But I'll only make you suffer through about two of these, so. Very nice, very consistent, uh, consistent pressure all the way down through. Um, 
It's not like falling to the bottom and then stopping, nothing like that. It's very consistent, even pressure along the entire time that you're uh, seating the primer. So excellent stuff. That is the Atlas head stamp right there. It's got the little tri triangle with the three circles and then obviously 6.5 Creedmoor. Great looking round. Very impressed with the quality of this brass. Um, I would be happy to buy more of it.